Hey friends, my name's Gabrielle, and happy St. Patrick's Day! Um, I am going to be very festive today and do the St. Patrick's Day book tag. Um, and to all my fellow Slytherins out there, hey, it's our day. We can represent with all of our green and not feel bad about it. The St. Patrick's Day book tag is a tag that has six questions, and so I'm going to go through and answer each one, and then I tag all of you guys to do the same. The first question is, End of the Rainbow, what book did you have a hard time tracking down a copy of? I am currently going to ever used bookstores and trying to find the softback editions of the Harry Potter books. So these books are very hard for me to track down because not a lot of used bookstores have them, or when they do get them, they're sold almost immediately. So I will say that these three books were very hard to track down, but I did, and I paid all three of these for still less than this little book. The second question is, Pot of Gold, when you found that book, was it worth the quest? The answer is yes, because I still saved $2 buying three books than I would have if I had bought the second book, The Chamber of Secrets, at full price at $12.99, um, $13 when you round up, and I was able to get all three for about $10.50. Question three, celebrating a rich heritage. Name a book that contains a well-developed culture. I believe that that is Labyrinth Lost by Zoraida Cordova, um, mainly because this is one of the first books that I've read that is a fantasy book and has such a well-developed Latino culture. It's, it's a fantastic book. I definitely recommend it to anyone who has not read it yet, especially because the sequel is coming out soon, which is awesome. Question four, Shamrock Shakes. What is your favorite food to snack on while reading? Um, I, I usually go with either, I like pretzel because I like salty snacks but I don't want to get like grease on my fingers or I like um, cheese and crackers like Swiss cheese and then just crackers and I also love frozen grapes all three of those are usually my go-to's um, if I need a, sn a snack while I'm reading a book question five four leaf clover name a book you thought would be just another generic book but turned out to be something great. So this was a book that I actually got in Owlcrate, um, and it is Eliza and Her Monsters. I thought that the plot of this book sounded pretty good. I wasn't expecting it to be an overly fantastic book. This book is amazing. I am so blown away by how great this book was. This book probably defined 2017 for me because it was just such a wonderful book to read, and I loved, I loved everything about it. It was so good. And question six, Irish whiskey. What is your favorite part of celebrating St. Patrick's Day? So every year, on St. Patrick's Day, my mom used to make us um, uh, corned beef and cabbage, and we would eat that, and we'd always watch a movie together. It wasn't necessarily like a movie having to do with St. Patrick's Day, but it definitely was a um, like a family movie that we would all pick, like we would take turns picking and then watching. So that was probably my favorite part of my family celebration of St. Patrick's Day, and I definitely love that I had that growing up. But yeah, so now I want to hear from you guys. What is your what are your answers to this book tag? I would love to know. I'm tagging everyone who watches this video. Um, and and if you guys do this tag, then please link it in the comments down below because I'd love to go and watch what your answers are. But for now, if you guys have not subscribed to my channel yet, then you definitely should because I upload bookish videos twice a week as well as reaction videos whenever something cool comes out that I want to react to. That's all I have for you guys today, so thank you so much for watching this video and I will talk to you guys later. Okay, bye.